Good morning, Grace Point family, and good morning to all of our friends. My name is Tom. Thank you for spending these few minutes with us early Monday morning. It's a new week, and it's an opportunity for us to look at God's Word this morning. And this morning, we're looking at the text, which will be our call to worship this Sunday here at Grace Point Church, uh, from the Psalms, Psalm 16. It's just a great reminder of the truth that permeates throughout Scripture, of the refuge, refuge that we find in God. Through good times and bad, through times of joy and times of difficulty and anxiety, and through times of a pandemic, uh, we do not fear because God is in charge and God rules and reigns over our lives. And so we know the protection uh, that comes to us uh, through God. God, therefore, is our refuge. And we share that information. We share that news with everybody. If you're in a situation today or a circumstance where you feel like you are alone or you feel like you are distant, you feel like you are uh, not protected, uh, trust in the Lord, we would encourage you. And we would encourage you by hearing the words of Psalm 16. The text of this psalm is on the post, and this is God's word. A miktam of David. Keep me safe, O God, for in you I take refuge. I said to the Lord, you are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. As for the saints who are in the land, they are the glorious ones in whom is all my delight. The sorrows of those will increase who run after other gods. I will not pour out their libation of blood or take their names upon my lips. Lord, you have assigned me my portion and my cup. You have made my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure because you will not abandon me to the grave, nor will you let your Holy One see decay. You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Amen. 